morning guys it's christmas morning i've gotten up for doug and delilah because i want to get myself ready before they get up i'm saying that now i can hear delilah talking to herself in the bedroom so i don't know how long she's gonna stay there i have this like bright red blob on the top of my head it's not even a spot it's just this lump it was really painful and then it just turned into this like red lump anyway yeah the, the plan was to put her to bed watch love actually have dinner not have to do, really do anything because i had gotten on top of vlogmas and we watch love actually every christmas eve it's just like the thing that we do but um delilah wouldn't settle at all until about quarter past eight and then when she did settle she woke up every 10 minutes and i was all organized with presents and and, and whatnot and i just have a few presents to um wrap this morning um i did want to get them done yesterday only because we couldn't collect them until um a couple of days ago but apart from that you know i only had that to do i thought i'd get vlogmas done and edited and that's all i had to do but all of a sudden i just feel like i have 101 things to do i'm just venting because also then last night delilah barely slept i didn't think her sleep could get worse and it's just gotten worse and i'm, I'm so tired i defrosted some breast milk for Del for doug to feed delilah during one of her night feeds so that doug could take some of the load and i could sleep for a bit but she refused the bottle first time around so i had to feed her second time around she kind of took the bottle but then she was fussing um to begin with and then she wouldn't go to sleep when he put her down so i couldn't really sleep through that so i didn't really get any extra sleep and um and then i had to feed her again and it was just a bit of a palaver really and that kind of scuppered the plans for this morning where i was going to get up after one of her feeds at sort of five six in the morning edit the vlogmas that should have gone up today which was christmas eve and then get myself ready and then by the time she wakes up be ready so that i can feed her and play with her whilst doug gets ready we do her stock in and then we go to his parents but it's not quite worked out like that i'm telling myself it's not the end of the world it doesn't matter it will still be a lovely day. So here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody's happy friend. <laughs> to the future now, it's only just begun. Um, <laughs> so here it is, Merry Christmas, everybody. Everybody's having fun. Good to morning. Now. Happy, Christmas. Happy, Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. You're up bright and early for someone who didn't really sleep last night. <laughs> now I just need to quickly wrap up these presents. wrap the last two presents i've got to remember which is which so this one oh crap <laughs> oh it's already falling apart this one is to doug's parents from delilah and that one's to my mum from delilah and i also wrapped this little one here for my mum and now we've got to remove most of these presents and pop them in a couple of bags to take to doug's parents so then the tree's gonna look really bare we're packed to leave we're spending half of the day so morning and half the afternoon at Doug's parents. And then we're spending the rest of the day with my mum and we're going out for our proper Christmas meal then. So yeah, pretty jam packed day. So we're all packed for Doug's parents, got their presents, got her little mummies and papas seat, taking some games, got her changing bag um, and a change of clothes for all of us for later. And before we go, we need to open her stocking. Mm. We need to open your stocking, don't we? See what's inside. Yeah. What's in here? Oh, what do we hear? What's this? What's this? Oh, does it say Delilah's first Christmas? <laughs> yeah. 
So we got a little star of Etsy saying Delilah's first Christmas. And what else do we have in here? Oh, I hear something that's crinkly. Oh, oh, what's in there? What's in there? Oh, eating elephant. Oh no, where's he gone? How's that? Hello. <laughs> oh, she wants a bag. She wants a bag. What else in here? Dum dum dum. It doesn't squeak. But it's a Sophie for your bar. Is that Sophie? Is that Sophie? <laughs> yeah. Sophie the giraffe. For a bar. in a good mood i mean she she can she can be grumpy and on on her best days but today she's really grumpy i think one because she didn't really sleep very much last night but two i think she may be teething just because she has a really bad nappy rash and um when she was first born she had a bad nappy rash because we didn't use nappy cream but um, since we've been using nappy cream she's had a really lovely smooth clear bottom but today i've noticed she's got a really sore nappy rash and i've read that that's a sign that they're teething which would explain why she's cranky but also she's probably quite tired now because it's she's been up for a few hours she didn't sleep much last night oh well that didn't go too too well <laughs> i knew she'd be more interested in this than she would be any of the other stuff but still i've got all cameras at hand i took a couple of polaroids which are still coming through and then i've got i'm gonna try a black and white disposable camera and then i've got just a normal one we've arrived and we're hoping this one stays asleep she's so tired Vessa. Had to put my Christmas socks on. I forgot that I even had these. And now we're gonna sit down and we're gonna have some breakfast. Yeah. Hey. Oh, needed second coffee of the day. Doug and his mum have taken Delilah for a walk to try and get her to sleep. Oh you can tell how tired I am and that I did my makeup in the dark because it's so cakey. I think when they get back we are going to open some presents. Give Delilah lots of love from Nana and Pops. <laughs> Thank you Pops. More food. <laughs> Presents have been opened. We've got a huge bag of prezzies here. Most of them to Lila's. We've got some brilliant toys here. These are all sort of three plus or six month plus because um, she's getting a bit bored of her other ones and she's kind of outgrowing them too. She loves this and this teether she's loving too. And this bristly bit here will help clean her first teeth when they come through because when she's only got one or two she doesn't really need a proper toothbrush. You like that, don't you? Oh, Alistair. I have nothing to do. All my, all my work, I finished all my work. It's now about 
now half past seven in the evening. Yeah, it, there's been a big gap in the vlogging. Uh, it's been quite a stressful day, to be honest. I will quickly update you before my mum gets, but what? what's going on? Um, I will quickly update you um, before my mum turns up. So we've just had dinner with my mum out and she's just ran back to her place to grab presents and then meet us back here at ours. I feel like this vlog needs to be really good because it's the last vlogmas and also I feel like it needs to be really positive because it's Christmas day. But in reality, our Christmas has been quite stressful. And the reality is that for our first Christmas as a family of three, Christmas has bought us a teething baby. <laughs> Delilah's always been quite hard work. You know, she always wants attention, always wants to be up and bobbed around and things. But today she has just cried and cried and cried because obviously her little teeth are moving around and coming through. Because overnight she's just become even more tearful and she it's obvious that she's in pain. We've given her some cow pole. She's got this new teeth uh, that I showed you earlier that she loves. She's doing okay, but she has cried all day long and it's been really tough on only sort of an hour, two hours sleep. We are back home now. <laughs> of course, I've got a teether in my coat, um, but we're back home now. I'm going to get into some comfier clothes. And yeah, it's it's been an interesting Christmas. I had a few tears in the car just now, just because I kind of got to the point where I thought, although I know Delilah's teething, she does cry a lot. and. I do have, like, I, I'm such a good mum, yeah, I just, at the same time, I'm like, why does she cry all the time? Like, am I doing something wrong? Am I doing something that she wants me to do and I'm not doing? I think it's all just built up in me and I just had a bit of a cry in the car. Just because today's been not, like, the perfect Christmas, it does not go to say that I'm being ungrateful. I'm, I'm so not, I'm so grateful that we've had both sides of the family to spend it with, that we have a gorgeous, healthy little bubba, be it she's not feeling too well and she's a bit grotty. I would be if all my teeth were coming through or, you know, a couple of my teeth were coming through and the others were moving around. But we have a gorgeous, healthy little bubba who's just the cutest thing most of the time. <laughs> and we have our own, you know, we have a flat, a roof over our head. We have presents, amazing memories we're making with friends and our family and our baby and like we have so much to be thankful for but all i'm saying is that it has been stressful it doesn't take away from the stress it doesn't take away from the worry and the upset and the fact i'm upset that she's so upset because her teeth are coming through and so yeah i just wanted to say that i'm not coming across ungrateful and i don't want anyone to you know to say that everyone else, that loads of people have it worse off than me because I know that and I'm so, so grateful for everything that we have. It, it just has been a stressful, a stressful day. It's been an interesting Christmas, but um, I'm looking forward to what the rest of the Christmas holidays bring and tomorrow, which, well, I won't be vlogging it because it's Boxing Day and it will be the end of Vlogmas, but tomorrow we're spending it with more of Doug's family and then we're going to Edinburgh. So let me know what you want me to do with Edinburgh. I was thinking of maybe vlogging every day that we're there and I don't know whether to put it into one big vlog or put it in single day vlogs, but upload them once I get back, not whilst I'm there because I just want to enjoy the time away and not have to edit. Um, but yeah, let me know, what should I do? And then what should I call them? Like Edinburgh vlog or Edinburgh vlogs and then number them? Well, I don't really know what to do, but this little one seems like she's doing a bit better. Yeah, yeah you seem a bit happier. I think she also, she had a bit more sleep. We're, we're basically, we were, she was so upset that we went to meet my mum for um, dinner and she was still really um, crying a lot and really fussy and she was quite clearly in a bit of pain so um Doug's parents picked her up and took her for a walk and let her sleep in the pram for a little bit and then they took her back to theirs she had a bit of a sleep there so I think she feels better <laughs> but yeah so that's basically the update on Christmas I may film a couple of little bits from now until Christmas from now until Christmas oh, can you tell I've not had much sleep from now until we go to bed but I'm not going to film loads because my mum doesn't particularly like being in the vlogs. But yeah, I'm not, I won't say goodbye yet, I'll say goodbye later. It's not quite the end of Vlogmas yet, not quite. Feeling a bit better after sleeping some cowpaw. Yeah. yeah. We haven't even put her in her party dress. She had a lovely little party dress for Minnie Bowden, which I showed you a while ago. I didn't want to put her in it. I didn't want her to be uncomfortable or annoy her even more. So she's just stayed in her dungas, haven't you? And now I'm worried that I've come across as complaining or ungrateful but i'm grateful that i've got this little one because all i ever wanted was a baby in particular a, a baby girl and i've got my little baby girl haven't i i've got my little baby girl delilah's helping me open my presents 
We've got some oh, lovely so presents cool. here. Oh, we've got my presents. We've got Delilah's presents. Dog's presents. And then my mum's presents. My mum's just gone home. It's half 11 now so it's definitely past our bedtime and we need to go to bed feeling a bit better after just having some chill time and um, delilah was i mean she was a bit cryy towards the end of opening presents but um she had a jolly good time with the wrapping paper she loves wrapping paper and crinkly things as i've said before she loved that she's got some lovely presents i want to show you what me and delilah got don't really have the time because i really should go to bed so you'll see them probably here and there throughout the vlogs in the next you know weeks to come when we got delilah to bed uh, we sat and we played a game that i picked up in m s the other day it's called 10 clues it's quite a fun game just an easy chill game to play i took some photos today on my polaroid these are the ones i took this morning which i think i've showed you delilah having a bit of a meltdown with her stocking and then i took these earlier which are quite sweet. There's this one, Delilah and her pops in the kitchen. <laughs> and then Delilah chewing on her new favorite toy to chew on. And then this one didn't come out too well. I don't know whether the flash was too bright. I'm just so pale that I just look white with the flash on, but that's me and Melissa playing with Delilah. Oh, here are two books that Doug got me for my birthday. He bought me um, Lauren Graham but who is one of the lead characters in Gilmore Girls one of my favourite uh, series programmes to watch and then this is also a book that she wrote a while ago so they were really nice presents I wasn't expecting those at all I like getting presents that I'm not expecting because when you're older generally it's stuff you've asked for you sort of have a an idea of what you're gonna get so it's nice to get surprises like that we have so much to tidy up but i'm gonna leave it until the morning so yeah overall it's been a really nice christmas actually had a little bit of a oh, bit of a moment earlier in the car but in general it's been a really lovely day we've got some amazing presents my mum got me a brand new um magi mix food processor it's the I'm looking on the box now it's the mini plus magi mix food processor oh it's amazing i'll show you it in another vlog i'm so happy with it i love it can't wait to use it and delilah got some really cute things from the little white company yeah we've just generally got some really lovely bits we're so so lucky but the main thing obviously all of these presents are materialistic and they're not the be all and end all the main thing is that all of us myself and doug and delilah and our family are happy and healthy and we got to spend the day with them that was the most important thing i hope you all had a good christmas i know for some people christmas isn't a happy merry time but i hope you all had a good day or a good just general christmas period i'm gonna get ready for bed now hope that delilah sleeps for a little bit so i can catch some sleep before she wakes up again i'm glad you guys enjoyed vlogmas i really enjoyed doing it it was a bit of a challenge but we got there yeah and i'll see you guys in about a week's time with the edinburgh vlogs thanks for all the love and support I'm glad you enjoyed vlogmas and i will see you very soon